नेक्स्ट इज शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड फ्रॉम वेयर वी गेट फूड हमें फूड कहां से मिलता है हाउ वी गेट फूड वी गेट फूड फ्रॉम टू टाइप्स ऑफ सोर्सेज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इज फ्रॉम प्लांट्स सेकेंड इज फ्रॉम एनिमल्स ओके फ्रॉम प्लांट्स वाट वी गेट वी गेट वेजिटेबल्स स्पाइसिस स्पाइसिस एक्सेट्रा एंड फ्रॉम एनिमल्स वी गेट eggs meat milk okay these are the sources of food from plants and from animals clear now from plants the food which we get is not of same variety or we can say same kind the food we get from plants is not of same kind from plants we can get from stem from leaves from flowers from roots okay from stem like sugarcane potato these are the foods which we get from stem many more uh, items are there like and leaves cabbage spinach etc and from flowers cauliflower pumpkin flower etc okay from root carrot radish and some more plant uh, food items are there which we get from roots also okay so these are the different kinds of food which we get from plants and the different parts of the plants which we eat as food shows okay now one more point is there the next topic which we are going to discuss is the food from animals from animals eggs from hen turkey duck etc milk cow buffalo etc goat meat goat and etc these are the sources of food which we get from animals also okay now on the basis of food there are many variety of animals every type of animal do not eat the same kind of food every animal eat the different kind of food okay what we uh, what are the different types of food uh, animals on the basis of food the animals which eat the different types of food can be classified as follows first is herbivores 
Agnes Carnivores Third is Omnivores And fourth is Strangers These are the different types of animals on the basis of food. First is herbivores, the animals that eat only plants. Only plants like goat, buffalo, cow, donkey. These are the animals that eat only plant and their products. That's why they are known as herbivores. Okay. Second is carnivores. Animals that eat other animals. Like lion, tiger, etc. Okay. Next is omnivores. Omnivores are the, uh, the animals that eat both plants and animals. Animals that eat both plants and animals that are known as omnivores animals. like human beings humans, crow, etc. Et okay. Next is strangers, animals that feed on the dead animals are called as strangers like vulture Aina, Jekyll, okay, these are the squingers. So these are the types of animals on the basis of their eating habits or we can say them decomposers also. Or here the decomposer, decomposers are also there. Which converts the dead animals into soil okay like bacteria so these are the decomposers uh, fungi bacteria are the decomposers so these are the types of animals on the basis of the food that they eat so first is herbivores that eats only plants like goat buffalo cow and donkey second is carnivores the animals that eat other animals like lion tiger Omnivores the animals that eat both plants and animals. Jo plants ko bhi khate aur animals ko bhi khate hai. Next is squingers, the animals that feed only on dead and decaying, decaying animals. Like vulture, hyena, jackal. And last one is decomposers. The decomposers are the animals that eat, uh, that decompose the dead animals in the soil. Okay? So this is our topic in this chapter. One more topic is there that we are going to discuss is food chain. What is food chain? Food chain is the sequence of animals that eat one another. Means, here is plants. Plants are eaten by grasshopper or we can say grass. It is eaten by grasshopper. Grasshopper is eaten by Bird, a bird is eaten by 
snakes any other animal so we can say grass over is eaten by lizard so lizard is eaten by snake or we can say here we can say dog okay like this one goat goat is eaten by lion so these are the animals which depends on each other one more example can be there grass is eaten by um, rabbit so rabbit is eaten by lion okay so this is the food chain or we can say this is the sequence in which one food is eaten by the other okay the food chain is the sequence in which one food is eaten by the other or we can say yahan pe here it is eaten by hog snake is eaten by hog okay so this is the sequence or the manner in which one food is eaten by the another animal or one animal is eaten by the other animal okay or the we can say in uh, one more topic is there ki the food problem ki how the food problem is coming here what is the food problem food problem is the scarcity of food we know that in our country many peoples do not get the food at proper time unko ek time pe bhi khana acche se nahi mil pata hai why because the higher society or we can say the upper class families people are wasting the food without any purpose that causes the food problem which causes the food scarcity okay or it should not be happen in our country we should or how we can resolve it how we can resolve the food problems we should grow more food plants we can say if plants are there then more plant eaters means primary consumer will be there okay after that or we can say herbivores herbivores will be there if herbivores are there then carnivores are there If carnivores are there, then omnivores will be there. And if omnivores is there, then decomposers or scavengers will also be there. If we are not having the plants in proper amount, then what will happen? These will not grow. These will not be there. And the, if this is not there, then this will also not there. If carnivores are not there, then omnivores are will not be there because no no plants are there, no herbivores are there, no carnivores are there. Okay. If these are not there, then the scavengers will also be not there. This problem will be created if the food uh, plants are cut down, or we can say there is a scarcity of plants on our earth. So we should. grow more food crops okay next is we should store the food grains properly agar hum food grains ko proper way mein store karte hain so we can use them in at any time of necessity okay so this can solve our food problems so students this is our first chapter which we have discussed okay i hope you have enjoyed this one and you go uh, you have gotten some information from this or you can continue your study now
because the lockdown period is going on there okay till then next topic will be discussed in the next video till then goodbye have a nice day hi guys what's up hope you will be fine and staying at home now today we are going to start our first chapter sources of food why food is necessary for our body we know that our body is like a machine and every machines need food that's why we take the food to recharge our body to gain the energy level or to maintain the work level of our body if we will not take the food we will not be able to do our work okay that's why we take food next why the food is necessary for our body it is necessary for these purpose that means to take energy the first function of food in our body is to give the energy or to provide energy for the work second to maintain our body and to repair our cells okay these are the necessary uh, we can say function of our uh, of the food in our body and one more function is to protect from disease okay these are the main functions of food in our body that's why we take food for our body to take energy to maintain our body to repair the cells or to protect our body from disease okay so these are the functions of food uh, food in our body next is what the food comprises if any food is there then what are the components or ingredients in that food